Mulder. Don't. Don't even start with me. I know what I saw. Hope you brought your cowboy boots. You want us to go to Dallas? Yeehaw! It's a dead cow. Exactly. Is there any sign of... Two small puncture wounds on the neck? That's not what I was going to ask. Too bad. We got him. Check it out. What? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a satanic cultist. Come on, Scully. You're not going to tell me you think this is that Mexican goat sucker thing? El Chupacabra? No, they got four fangs, not two. And they suck goats, hence the name. So instead, this would be... Classic vampirism. I'm... Agent Smulder and, uh... Scully, go ahead. Tell him your, uh, theory. Well, my theory has evolved. And there's some kind of disease that makes a person think that they're a vampire? Well, there is a psychological fixation called hematodipsia, which causes the sufferer to gain erotic satisfaction from consuming human blood. Erotic. Yeah. Hmm. You really know your stuff, Dana. Dana? He never even knew your first name. You gonna interrupt me or what? No. Go ahead. Dana. What am I even looking for? I don't know. <laughs> this one's my room holder. Don't get mud everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Private dick who's a sex machine with all the chicks. Shaft! Can you dig it? They say this cat Shaft is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm talking about Shaft. I did not. Yesterday morning began like any other morning. You arrived at the office characteristically less than exuberant. I hope you brought your cowboy boots. Why are we going to Dallas? <laughs> it's actually. Well, it's obviously not a vampire. Well, why not? Because they don't exist? Well, that's one opinion, and I respect that. It's not that Mexican goat sucker, either. Apparently, your mind was somewhere else. Who, boy? Y'all must be the government people. I'm Lucius Harwell. He had big buck teeth? He had a slight overbite. No, he didn't. And that's significant? How? I'm just trying to be thorough. Okay, here's something you may not know. Shooting out the tires on a runaway RV is a lot harder than it looks. I then tried a different approach. this morning and all that was was half of a cream cheese bagel and it wasn't even real cream cheese it was light cream cheese and now you want me to run off and do another autopsy what the hell happened to you finally you left don't you touch that bed so i ate your dinner What'd you have to go and do that for? You're saying that I actually hit him two times? Square in the chest, no effect. And then he sort of flew at me like a flying squirrel. Well, well I don't think I'll use the phrase flying squirrel when I talk to Skinner, but yeah, that's what happened. I was drugged. Here. 
Sheriff Hartwell. Evening, agents. I heard y'all were back in town. Thought I might be of some assistance. Yeah, I, actually, you can. You can stay behind here with Agent Scully and keep an eye on things while I check something out. I'll say I never did nothing for you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Come on, cut it out, Ronnie. 